In this video, we're diving into quantum numbers, a key concept in quantum mechanics. These numbers are essential for understanding how electrons behave in atoms. We'll break down what each one means and how they pinpoint an electron's position. And don't miss it. Stick around for some practice problems at the end. Quantum numbers come from the solutions to Schrodinger's equation, helping us describe the unique address of an electron in an atom. There are four quantum numbers, the principal quantum number, n, the angular momentum quantum number, l, the magnetic quantum number, ml, and finally, the spin quantum number, ms. Each one plays a vital role in defining the behavior and position of an electron. The first quantum number is the principal quantum number, denoted by a small n. This number describes the energy level, or shell, that an electron occupies. The value of n is always a positive integer, 1, 2, 3, and so on. The larger n is, the further the electron is from the nucleus, and the higher its energy. For each value of n, the electron occupies a specific shell with a unique name. For example, when n equals 1, it's the K shell, the closest to the nucleus with the lowest energy. When n equals 2, it's the L shell. When n equals 3, it's the M shell. And when n equals 4, it's the N shell. As n increases, electrons are farther from the nucleus and have higher energy. Next, we have the angular momentum quantum number, L. This number defines the shape of the orbital where the electron is most likely to be found. The value of L depends on the value of N and can range from 0 to N minus 1. Each value of L corresponds to a different orbital shape. When L equals 0, we have an s orbital, which is spherical. L equals 1 gives us a p orbital, shaped like a dumbbell. L equals 2 is a d orbital, with a cloverleaf shape. And finally, when L equals 3, we have an f orbital, with a complex structure. The magnetic quantum number, ml, tells us the orientation of the orbital in space. Its value depends on L and can range from negative L to positive L. For example, if L is 1, then um L can be negative 1, 0, or positive 1, which represents the three different orientations of a p orbital. L equal to 1 means we have a p orbital. The three possible values of ML correspond to the three different orientations of this p orbital. These orientations lie along the x, y, and z axes, allowing the electron to occupy different spatial directions within the atom. Finally, we have the spin quantum number. Ms. This number tells us the direction in which the electron spins. Electrons can spin in one of two directions. Sums can be either plus one half or minus one half. This unique property allows each orbital to hold two electrons, one spinning up and the other spinning down. Now, Let's dive into some practice. We'll work through problems that combine all four quantum numbers, putting our understanding to the test. These exercises will help reinforce each quantum number's unique role and show how they work together to define electron configurations. Ready? Let's get started. Let's tackle our first problem. We need to find all possible values of each quantum number for an electron in the fourth energy level where n equals 4. First, the principal quantum number n tells us that the electron is in the fourth shell, or energy level. Next, 
we determine the angular momentum quantum number, L. For any given n, the possible values of L range from 0 up to n minus 1. So, with n equals 4, the values of L can be 0, 1, 2, and 3. Each value of L corresponds to a different orbital shape. L equals 0 represents an S orbital. L equals 1 represents a P orbital. L equals 2 represents a D orbital. And L equals 3 represents an F orbital. Finally, the spin quantum number, ms, represents the electron's spin direction. The two possible values are plus 1 half and minus 1 half. All right, let's move on to our second problem. Here, we're asked to find all possible combinations of quantum numbers for an electron located in a p orbital within the second energy level, where n equals 2. First, let's start with the principal quantum number n. Since the electron is in the second energy level, n equals 2. Next, we consider the angular momentum quantum number, L. Remember, L can take values from 0 up to n minus 1. So, when n equals 2, L can be either 0 or 1. Since we know this electron is in a p orbital, L equals 1, as L equals 1 represents p orbitals. Now, let's determine the possible values for the magnetic quantum number. ML. For L equals 1, ML can range from negative L to plus L, which means ML could be negative 1, 0, or plus 1. These values correspond to the different orientations of the p orbital. Finally, we have the spin quantum number, ms, which can be either plus 1 half or minus 1 half, representing the two possible spin directions of the electron. So, putting it all together, the possible quantum number combinations for an electron in a 2p orbital are n equals 2, l equals 1, ml equals negative 1, ms equals positive 1 half, n equals 2, l equals 1, ml equals negative 1, ms equals negative 1 half, n equals 2, l equals 1, ml equals 0, ms equals positive 1 half, n equals 2, l equals 1, ML equals 0, MS equals negative 1 half, N equals 2, L equals 1, ML equals positive 1, MS equals positive 1 half, N equals 2, L equals 1, ML equals positive 1, MS equals negative 1 half. Now, let's move on to the third problem, where we'll determine which sets of quantum numbers are allowed and identify any errors. For each incorrect set, we'll explain what makes it invalid. Let's examine this set. Here, n equals 3, which is the principal quantum number. For n equals 3, the possible values for L are 0, 1, and 2. However, this set has L equals 3, which is not allowed for n equals 3. So, this set is incorrect, because L cannot be equal to n. In this set, n equals 4 and l equals 3. Since l can be 0, 1, 2, or 3 for n equals 4, this value of l is allowed. The magnetic quantum number ml equals 2 is also within the range for l equals 3, which is from negative 3 to positive 3. The spin quantum number ms equals negative 1 half is valid as well. So, this set of quantum numbers is correct. Here, n equals 4, with l equals 1. Since l equals 1 is allowed for n equals 4, and ml equals 1 falls within the range for l equals 1, which is negative 1 to positive 1, this set is valid. The spin quantum number ms equals plus 1 half is also acceptable. Therefore, this set of quantum numbers is correct. For this set, n equals 2 and l equals 1 are both allowed values. The value ml equals negative 1 also fits within the range for l equals 1. 
However, the spin quantum number ms equals negative 1 is incorrect because ms can only be plus 1 half or minus 1 half. So, this set is invalid due to an incorrect spin quantum number. In this set, n equals 5, which is valid. However, the angular momentum quantum number L cannot be negative, so L equals negative 4 is invalid. This set is incorrect because L must be a non-negative integer. For this set, n equals 3 and L equals 1 are allowed. However, ML equals 2 is not allowed, for L equals 1 because the range for ML with L equals 1 is only negative 1 to positive 1. So, this set is invalid because ML is outside the allowed range.